dedicated to his faith in God. As I believe, I believe that my steps are, are ordered, that I'm, I'm typically move on, on purpose. Very big on teamwork. When we pull together, it, it, it doesn't become, you know, burdensome. And I think we can accomplish so much as we work together. And steadfast in the development of Jamaica's sustainable development goals. Dr. Wayne Henry, a man with a vision. I started the PIOJ in 2016, and, and at that time we began a number of activities. And, and, and a lot of work would have gone in before, you know, establishing Vision 2030 Jamaica, the country's long-term development plan, and having seen that implemented. But as the SDGs came on board, we did a number of things in 2016 and onwards. We established the National Oversight Committee for implementing the Sustainable Development Goals in Jamaica, what we call the NOC, which is chaired by the PIOJ. We hosted a mission from the UN to, to do what we call a MAPS mission, mainstreaming, accelerating, and program support for Jamaica to establish the SDGs in terms of implementation. And that mission showed and un uncovered that the, our Vision 2030 Jamaica, the long-term development plan for the country, was, was strongly aligned to the SDGs that were established, the 17 goals of the Sustainable Development Goals framework, over 90%, 91% alignment, which means that if we just implement Vision 2030, we'll be actually achieving um, implementation of the SDGs. And so that was very important for us to uncover as a country, and it is seen now as best practice by many countries globally, what, what Jamaica has been doing. Much progress has been made to date, and Dr. Henry's contribution in this area has been recognized. He's among the recipients of the 2021 National Honors and Awards. All right, Doctor, let's get straight to it. How do you feel about being um, selected to receive the Order of Distinction, Commander Rank? So I feel very humbled. I, I feel very privileged and, and grateful to God. A number of persons in Jamaica have been serving and you know, a number of unsung heroes, persons who continue to give human service and to go beyond the call and, and many are not recognized. And, and so I feel very privileged to, to, so, to have been so recognized that I'm very big on teams and so it's a team effort. And, and, and I think it's, it's testament to the quality work of a strong team. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction when um, you realized that you were down to, you were selected to receive this award? Just, I think, elation, just again, that sense of, of, of calm when, when you realize, you know, we, we thank God there's a verse in the Bible that says that all that we have accomplished, Lord, you have established for us and all that we have accomplished we've done for us and and and, and that sense of, of of gratitude to God and, and so it's just that sort of sense that this is what happens if you allow this God to lead you and trust him to guide you. Tell us what was it like working on these projects? Uh, very rewarding because the sense is you if as you stay up at night and you work on these matters, you are you you know that it is having direct impact and direct benefit in many instances for persons' persons' lives and their livelihoods. Dr. Henry's career as an economist started in finance in the private sector. He later transitioned to the public sector, serving as an advisor to previous government ministers of agriculture and finance. Someone said to me some time ago, if, if when someone is sharing a vision, if you feel it, if it impacts you as they share it, then chances are you are to, you are to be a part of it. It could easily be said that Dr. Henry's unwavering service to the public sector was inherited from his parents, who were both dedicated public servants. Uh, my father was at the Bureau of Standards for, for 30, over 30 years, 33 years at the Bureau of Standards. And, 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 and my mother was at the Planning Institute of Jamaica and, and, and for almost 40 years. And, and, and you saw them and, and, and their giving uh, to the country and, and just grew up with that and understanding the value of giving back. If it was not a public service, right, what would it be for them? If it was not public service, likely academia, um, uh, there's a lot of a lot of me that enjoys teaching. What is it that you are passionate about, other uh, outside of 
work? A, a number of things. One is, is family. Family is very important. And, and I tell persons, make the time. Friendships are important. I think the sense of, of service is important because I think, you know, the Bible says to whom much is given. Um, much is much is required, and so I can I can get into my other issue now of of being a, a preacher by by weekend, right? Um, <laughs> that I'm active in the church, and that's important to me also to help to 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 encourage and, and to build person. So. Yes, and I just want to thank you again for your contribution to Jamaica to this country. On behalf of the team, thank you very much. I really mean that. Thank you so much. We continue to and give the commitment of our continued diligence and dedication um, to the work of, of promoting sustainable development for the people of Jamaica. And we continue all our efforts uh, to make Jamaica the place of choice to live, work, raise families and do business. God bless you. Thank you.